Titan TV. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Guys, I can't even do it. Come on in. Welcome back. I hope you're having such a lovely week. Today we're going to be talking all about this flat and I'm finally going to do a flat tour. I bought this flat back in 2019 and I currently live here alone. I absolutely love this place. As you know, I lived here for a while with my ex-boyfriend to split the costs, which made it more affordable. But since he left, I have been living here by myself and it has just been one of the best experiences of my life, to be honest, living alone. It's given me such an incredible sense of independence and of freedom and confidence to know that I can handle life on my own. I've just, I've had the best time. But very excitingly, and honestly, I haven't really known when to tell you guys about this because I've known for a bit now and I didn't want to jinx it by telling you and then something going wrong but we have found our dream home and we have had an offer accepted and we are officially moving in just a few weeks time. I am so excited I can't tell you this place is our dream home it's my dream home it's absolutely perfect and i am of course going to take you through the entire moving process with me decorating the brand new home doing any renovations that we might need to do although having said that it's honestly so perfect the renovations are probably going to be minimal but i'm so excited to put our own stamp on the place but moving in and moving away from this area means that i have to say goodbye to this flat and honestly that makes me so sad i it's just been as i said it's just been the most incredible era living here and I'm going to be so sad to say goodbye to it. So I wanted to have a video telling you all about it, giving you all the details and taking you on a proper tour so we can get into every nook and cranny of this place before I leave it. But before we dive into the tour, I wanted to give you a little bit of background information so we have some context before we dive in. So this flat is approximately 735 square feet and it's two bedroom, one bathroom with a garden. I own this place at the moment and I'm paying off a mortgage, but as we know, mortgage rates are seriously variable. So to give you a better idea of the cost of the property, it would cost approximately 2,400 to 2,500 pounds per calendar month. And it's located in Southwest London in zone two. So it means that commuting and getting around and doing all the fun things in London is so easy to do from this location as well, which is amazing. <laughs> and honestly, one of the reasons I have been able to live here on my own is that before the world went crazy, I got a really cheap mortgage rate lockdown that is fixed, but I absolutely could not afford 2,500 pounds by myself. And truly one of the reasons I am moving as well is because at the end of this year, that mortgage rate changes and I could not afford to live here on my own when that moves. Okay, with all that being said, let's dive into the tour and I'm also gonna show you some of my favorite home decor pieces and tell you all about where I got them from. Okay, let's go. So when you walk through the door, you walk first straight into the hallway. Now I've tried to keep this place as minimal as possible. It's obviously a hallway, so quite a narrow space, but I actually think it feels quite spacious in here. There are a couple of things that I did just to try and keep this space feeling as big as possible. The first was just to keep the decor as simple as possible. So I've just got a couple of pieces on this little side table when you first walk in. I've got this gorgeous candle from Anthropology. I always find that Anthropology candles have quite strong scents. And because I am living in London, the street smells of London aren't 10 out of 10. So I want it to be that when guests walk into my home, they're met with a lovely smell. So I always like either having a reed diffuser or a very nice smelly candle on the side table to greet people when they walk in. And then I've just got a little pot, which usually does have some kind of dry flowers in it. And I've got my wheatgrass here, which I love because it's so low maintenance, but just adds a bit of texture to make the space feel a little bit fuller. And then I've just got three really simple hooks that are also from Anthropology that I love, which match kind of the gold detailing of the mirror. So the second thing I did to try and make this space feel as big as possible, and I don't know how well the camera picks up the color difference, is I actually painted each wall a different color. And I painted this wall a darker color. This is Elephant's Breath Farrowin Ball. And I love this color. I know it's such a classic, but I really do love it. And I painted this wall Farrowable all white, I think it was. And it just makes the space feel so much larger having a darker color on one side and a lighter color on the other. It just kind of like 
opens the space. And I'm so pleased that it worked because I didn't know at the beginning if that was gonna be a little bit weird, but I really love it and I love how it's actually turned out. Okay, and then the final bit of hallway decor is this cabinet. I absolutely love this cabinet. It's from John Lewis. It's actually under their bathroom collection, but I think it works really perfectly here. And to be honest, I use this cabinet to basically store all the stuff that I just don't really know in life where it belongs. In here, I've got a lot of my files. I've got like my sewing kit. I've got like spare vases that I don't quite have a location for. Just bits and pieces that live in here. But honestly, I've always really loved this space. I can't tell you where the lamp is from because I actually got it as a gift. The print was from Decenio and the frame I actually got from a charity shop. I really recommend charity shops as a place to get good picture frames. The other picture frame there with me and my friends, which is honestly one of my favorite pics ever, is also from a charity shop. The little white vase is from the White Company. And then I always use this space again to have candles and nice smelly things, because again, it's kind of one of the first places that greet you into the property. And I love having my favorite Christmas scents here when Christmas comes around. The cabinet is just, it's got so much storage. It's really big. And I just think this little corner gives quite a nice homey touch. One thing I will say about this flat, apart from all of my glowing reviews of it, because obviously I've loved making this place my home, is that it doesn't have incredible storage. So this is actually like the only built-in storage, I think, in the entire flat. But I will say that this cupboard is pretty huge. So here is where I keep all of my winter coats. I typically keep like my summery blazers just in my wardrobe. But here is where I keep all of my coats and my jackets. Up here, you guys know how excited we are, is where I keep all of my Christmas decorations because I've got quite a lot of them. But they all managed to fit up here. And as you can see, I've also got my drill here because I love a bit of DIY. And then down the bottom here, I keep some of my workout bits. So I've got my yoga mat and I've got some of my free weights. This unit is actually from Ikea. Again, Ikea is just quite good for some of that really basic storage stuff. And in this top one, I've got all the like plastic bags and shopping bags that I try and reuse when I go to the supermarket. And then in the bottom, I've basically got all of my like hats and scarves and gloves and stuff like that for the winter. And I think that is it for the hallway. Okay, so then you come through the corridor and straight into the main bedroom. And one of my favorite places in the whole world. So this is obviously the room that we first started off in. So you've already seen some of it. I've got these really big wardrobes from Ikea. These were actually those Pax wardrobes, but you can customize the front. They're sliding doors. And I mean, you can judge me as much as you like for how unorganized my wardrobe is, but it is actually quite deep and there's quite a lot of room for storage. I hope you guys are ready for how organized I'm gonna be in the new place. But there is room on the top shelf for additional shoe storage, which to be honest, there is so much space up there I could utilize, but I don't really need it. So I've got some shoes up there that I don't wear so frequently. And then I've got the main hanging section of my wardrobe. And then down here, don't judge me guys, I've got clothes all piled up and some more shoe storage along the bottom. And then on the other side, I've got a lot of bag storage. I've got a lot of winter shoes, like boots. And I've also got a lot of winter jumpers. So this is where I keep all of my winter jumpers during the summer months. <sighs> And then my bed, which is obviously the main event of the bedroom. I love my bed so much. Don't we all? My bed frame is actually from Made, which I think has gone under now. I'm not sure you can actually shop from Made anymore. My mattress, which I honestly think is the comfiest mattress in the whole world, is from Ellie. And I will definitely link Ellie mattresses below because I just think it's incredible. All of my sheets, to be honest, pretty much across the board are either Zara Home or The White Company. And all of my actual bedding, like pillows and duvets and stuff, is pretty much exclusively John Lewis. Then next to the bed, I've got my bedside tables, which I absolutely love, and my Lumi clock. And I've just got a little bowl that I actually got from a charity shop, which is where I put all my jewelry when I take it off at the end of the day. And then we've got my TV, which to be honest, doesn't look very cute, but I have never had a TV in the bedroom before. So when I moved into my own place, I was like, it's happening. I want a TV in the bedroom so I can watch all of my cozy comfort TV in bed on a snuggly Sunday or to be honest, any evening of the week. It's just one of my favorite things to be able to watch TV in bed. So I've got that. And then this is my little vanity section. We're not gonna talk about the chest of drawers. They're Ikea. If you saw my last vlog, they're an absolute disaster. So I won't be recommending those, but this is just one of my favorite places. It's where I have all of my lovely skincare that I like to do. It's where I store my jewelry. And it's just such a happy place. This is where I truly get to focus on myself. Oh, actually another really small one this this like laundry hamper is from zara home and i 
absolutely love it. I actually think this is so cute. It's wicker and like you don't need to see all of my dirty clothes. I mean, you can see how full it is. Your girl needs to do some laundry, but it's wicker, it's white and it's so cute. It's really sturdy, it actually feels good quality. So really recommend Zara Home for like your laundry hamper because I've actually got another one from them in a different room as well. So if you're looking for one, recommend from there. Okay, and then we come round the corner and into the second bedroom slash my office. Okay, so this is the second bedroom and as you can see, the space in here is actually so good. I've got a proper chest of drawers with lots of space for clothes. I actually store all of my bed sheets in there. And then we've got a full double bed in here and my favorite bit is my desk. I absolutely love my desk setup. And if you've been around for a while, you know the setup is relatively new. The desk I've had for a while, again, it's from John Lewis. It's from like their basics range and I actually love it. I think this drawer is absolutely massive because it actually goes all the way along and isn't actually split up into two drawers. I've got this headphone stand, which I also use as a bit of a stand for my headbands. The laptop stand and the keyboard are both from Amazon and it's where I have my notebooks. And I actually love this lamp. It's not quite a mushroom lamp, but I think it's not far off and it's so cute. And it was literally five pounds from Ikea. So that is where Ikea does come into its own sometimes. If you find the gems, I absolutely love this as a little gem for a desk light. And then I remembered, I didn't actually show you the mirror from the main bedroom, but this is the mirror from the second bedroom and they're actually the same. They are both from Ikea and actually it's so affordable. They are about 35 pounds each. And I think for a mirror, that is really good value. And then it's into the bathroom. There's just one bathroom in this property, which is obviously absolutely plenty for me. I did this tiling myself, or I mean, I didn't personally do it, but I chose the tiling and the design and it might not be for everybody, but I really love it. I think this toffee color tile is so like warming and lovely in contrast with the white that keeps it feeling clean. And I really wanted this bathroom to feel a mix of both warm and cozy and quite clean and minimal, which I hope I've achieved in here. I think it feels that way. There of course isn't loads of space in this flat. So this is just one shower that is over the bath, but it's actually an L shaped bath. Bath, which I think is a super handy way to have a proper standing shower if you're short on space. It basically means that when you are in the shower, you don't feel like you're kind of standing on curved edges of a bath. There's a proper flat bottom for you to stand on, which I think works really nicely. And we've also got this ledge on the edge of the bath here, which I think is so perfect. And again, if you've seen almost any of my other videos, you'll know that when I have a bath, it's lighting a candle and being able to have a space for my candle and my laptop if I want to watch some TV or to be able to put my Kindle down when I'm reading my book, to have my favourite glass of wine. I just think it's so lovely. And it also meant that I could have this storage space underneath, so I put loads of my cleaning products under here. But yeah, it's actually such a nice way to have it all tucked away. And then I just put a cute little handle on it from Anthropology. And then finally, we start to move into the best bit of the whole flat without a question, in my opinion. So first up, the kitchen. I absolutely love the kitchen. We've got these shelves, which again, these bits of wood were from Etsy that we put in. And I think it's such a lovely way to have some of your stuff out on display, but also where I've got a bit of a narrower kitchen. It makes the space feel so much bigger, not having like big cupboards kind of pouring over me. And I still feel like I get to store lots of stuff up here because I essentially have all my plates, all my bowls, and actually a lot of my glassware on the top shelf as well. If you're starting to think I've got a bit of a white company obsession, you would be correct. All of my plates and bowls are from the White Company, but I just think they're so cute. These jars are all from Ikea. Again, such good value, and I think such a great thing to get from Ikea because they're solid, they're glass. I think the quality is absolutely fine. And then I've also got a number of these pots that I keep some of my dried goods in. So here I've got my desiccated coconut in here, and these pots were all from Amazon, but I've also seen some really lovely ones from Zara Home as well. And then we are into the main space. And I just think that this bit is just incredible. Incredible, there's so much natural light. I absolutely love it. I'm telling you, there is so much space here. We've got a full six seater dining table. We've obviously got a chair and a bar cart that you can see here. And this space also fits this sofa, which I'm telling you is so huge. This sofa doesn't fit in the new house. I'm gonna obviously give you all the details for the next place, but we've bought an actual house with three bedrooms and it's so much bigger than this place. And this thing doesn't fit. This sofa is huge. And I still think it fits in this space so nicely. This lamp is one of my most favorite things that I've literally ever bought. It's actually from Ikea. And I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I love it, love it, love it. I think 
it looks so classic, it's so timeless, and I think it looks way, way more expensive than Ikea and than it was. And then I've also got this ladder, which I love to drape my blankets over. The ladder is from Abigail Ahern. I love all of Abigail Ahern's stuff so much. A little bit more on the pricey side, so I have to be a bit more selective about which bits I get from there. But I got this ladder, I don't regret it, I absolutely love it. And then most of my blankets are either from Zara Home or H&M Home. And we're not really in blanket season yet, but autumn and winter is coming, guys. And I'm so excited to get all cosy with my blankets very, very soon. On this side of the room, I have got this shelving unit. I got this from Etsy. I think you can find so many gems on there, honestly. And this is also where I keep most of my plant babies. Although having said that, I'm not a very good plant mum. As you guys may already know, I'm much more of a flowers and floral kind of girl. But I do have a few here, and honestly, to be fair, these string of pearls are my pride and joy. I don't know if any of you out there have also grown string of pearls. They are so difficult to look after, and just look at this beauty. She's stunning, isn't she? She's doing so well. She's honestly thriving. And then I've got a few other, like, cacti on here, but yeah, as I said, by and large, I'm not amazing at looking after plants, so I try and buy the ones that look after themselves. This shelving unit also goes all the way to the bottom that I really love, so I've got a lot of my recipe books on the bottom, because you guys know how much I love to cook. And then I've also got here an article about my granddad after he passed away that was posted in the newspapers and I've also got a little candle here from the white company that I just like to light every so often on cozy evenings to remember him because he was just the most wonderful man in the whole world so and then my lovely bar cart the instigator of far far too many hungover Sundays but I've got my glasses on here from anthropology that I absolutely love this is actually a fake Cactus from Abigail Ahern. Again, such a lovely purchase from there. She does really, really good, like fake plants and fake florals. This little African guy is from my latest trip to South Africa. And then my whiskey decanter is also from Anthropology. And then I've got all the booze on the bottom shelf. Other small touches in here are some dried hydrangeas and dried eucalyptus that I actually dried myself. I've got a little stool that I found in a market near where my grandparents used to live. And then this creamy boucle chair that I actually got from Oliver bonus and again absolutely love it it's actually really comfortable and such good quality so this is definitely coming with me to the new place definitely one of my favorite things about this whole flat is the reclaimed london brick wall that we put in i added this detail it was actually one of my dad's suggestions after he saw the flat and I absolutely love it. I think it's such a cool touch and I think it goes really well with this gorgeous, massive mirror. If you need a recommendation of where to get mirrors from, honestly, look no further than William Wood mirrors. They are such good value. The only thing I will say is they're all pretty massive. I don't know if any of you were around when I posted the vlog of me unboxing this thing, but it was so hard to do by myself. But anyway, we unboxed it, she's amazing, and such good value for massive mirrors. And then we've got, and then we've got my gorgeous dining table with my latest batch of roses. I'm just loving English roses at the moment in this place. The dining table was also from Etsy. If I can link this one, I will, because it's actually made by a couple that build it together in their garage. And I just think it's such a lovely table. Okay guys, and now for the entire reason I purchased this flat, the garden. So the sun keeps changing its mind today, which is such a bummer because when the sun is out, there is nothing better than London in the sun. And this place looks in the sunshine. This is my lovely garden. This space honestly is so big, I feel, for a London flat. And I really wanted to get as much greenery as I could. So I've got grass. It is actually AstroTurf though, because I just thought, for me living by myself, it's just so much easier to manage AstroTurf than having to have a lawnmower and being able to trim proper grass. It just doesn't quite fit in with my hectic lifestyle at the moment. And actually very good evidence of that fact is the state of these beds. Again, if you've been around, you know that these do sometimes look much better than this. A mix of me being away and being being quite lazy has meant that these are absolutely insane. I do actually have a decent number of herbs in there that I grow. So I've got thyme, rosemary, and chives, but they're hiding right now amongst the weeds. So that's poor garden ownership from me. But I do love this space. Being able to come out here and have a coffee in the morning or a glass of wine in the evening is just everything I ever wanted from my first flat. It's just one of those guaranteed ways to make me happy. Out here, I've got this gorgeous, massive fern, which has grown so, so much from when I moved in. My very basic garden furniture is from Ikea. I've got a barbecue 
and then I've got some lovely trees. This cherry blossom tree looks so stunning in the spring. So guys, that is it for the room tour. Let me know if there is anything that I didn't talk about that you wanted to see that I didn't show you. I tried to do as much as I possibly could without going through every single item in the flat because that would be a seriously long one. But if there's anything that you've seen in any of my vlogs that you wanna know where it's from, just let me know. I am so sad to be saying goodbye to this place. And you can believe over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be soaking up as much quality time in this space by myself as I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching guys. I honestly love you so much. Have the very, very best week. And if you're in the UK, I hope you're having the loveliest bank holiday and I truly cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys.